not do meditation are capable of falling down because meditation is like putting oil into the lamp. Those who do not meditate think they can do without it are sadly mistaken. They have to meditate morning and evening. The problem is everything comes so handy, so simple that they don't understand that meditation is very important. Many people. Not you, but there are many I know who get realization and don't meditate. And their <coughs> style is different. Their nature is different. Meditation is such a soothing thing, such a beautiful way of connection with the Divine that all your problems get solved in that meditative mood. If you are not meditating, you are not following meditation, then maybe your light will go down, <coughs> it won't give sufficient light. <coughs> it's important, very important to find out about yourself, about others, in the meditation. How to do meditation, many people ask. Don't do anything, to just go into thoughtless awareness. Try to go to the thoughtless awareness. If you can get into that condition of thoughtless awareness, you've done your job. Because that's the point where you are with the truth, with the reality, with the joy, with everything that is so fundamental. When you meditate, try not to not to make some sort of a function out of it. No. Meditation is something silencing yourself silencing your thoughts and going to that deep ocean which is within you itself. But supposing you don't do that, if you don't meditate, I can make out immediately those who are meditating and those who are not. It's not difficult for me. Those who do not meditate are always hesitating. They are confused, they can't understand. And that's why meditation is the most important thing in search. Just like a light burns with the electricity flowing in it, we can, can say, or by because of the candles. In the same way, meditation is a continuous availability of the Divine Force. That will reduce all your apprehensions. Not only that, but takes out all the negative thoughts. It takes out all the discouraging things. And when you are meditating like that, thoughtless awareness, then you'll be amazed how you are helped from within and without. It's a terrible power that works, this thoughtless awareness. So those who do not meditate cannot go very much far with the advantage of such. One should try to meditate and go up to the point of thoughtless awareness. So what happens to you? If you are in thoughtless awareness, what happens to you is that 
you get the confidence, complete confidence of divinity. You know you have that. That meditation will give you security. It will give you a real enlightenment and a complete connection with the Divine. Without the connection of the Divine, what's the use of doing surgery? I know the people who are meditating, who have gone down into their being and who are very developed. Also I know people who are little superficial. Your depth is in thoughtless awareness. It's a very important point which you should reach. Looking at anything, if you are thoughtlessly aware, then you really become reflective about it. Just works out that way. I don't know how far you can remain in that condition. But even for a second you can achieve it, you start achieving it more. And, and if they have problems, I know why the problems are there. Main thing is your connection with the Divine is only possible when you meditate and become thoughtlessly aware. That's the point where Divine works.